little siblings and welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be so fun because it's all about my little kitten ace <laughs> kitten boy his name's ace um he doesn't want to hang right now he loves hiding in that little box he has so many hiding places but his carrier case is his favorite i'm gonna let him do his thing so on monday june 3rd i believe it was i went and got a bengal kitten and he's a little boy he was born february 10th 2019 and his name is ace and in today's video, I just wanted to introduce you guys to him, explain why I got him, why Bengal specifically, why I decided to go with a breeder instead of adopting, pretty much every question that I've had since I've gotten my cat, and so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing and kind of the main thing that I want to talk about right now is adopt versus shop. A lot of times people are always pressuring you to adopt and never shop, it's like a say not always true and it's not always going to be what's best for you and your family because having a pet is a lifelong commitment or at least it's their life that you're committing to it's the next 16 17 18 years of their lives that you're committed to so you obviously want a dog or a cat that's going to fit your house perfectly your lifestyle perfectly and that gets along with you so here's my experience. We adopted my dog from the Humane Society, a shelter, and we just went in one day and we were like, we decided that we wanted a dog as a family and we didn't have any specific breed we were looking for. We just wanted a nice good dog that could run outside, and, you know, be an outside dog, hang out with people, hang out with kids. And we fell in love with Scout. Since then, he's like a whole new dog. He used to be so scared and shy and timid, and now he can do tricks. He goes on walks every day. He loves other dogs. He loves people. I don't know, he gets fed very well. He was a very skinny dog when we got him, and now he's just a nice, healthy, big, strong, mus muscular dog. He's the best dog ever, basically. Honestly, he's like the best dog I've ever. But that being said, he definitely has trauma from his time in the shelter, from his childhood. The people at the shelter told us that he had been adopted like several times and brought back because people said that he was too hyper, but they didn't have a big enough yard to let me an outside dog. He just wanted to run and they couldn't let him do that. And he'd bark all the time because he was inside. Basically that he could not be an inside dog and people can't take care of how hyper he was. So me and my dad were like, oh my gosh, this is the dog of our dreams. We live on three acres. He can be trained to stay in the yard and he can be an outside dog. So he's kind of the perfect dog for us. But all of that being said, he does still have that trauma. He is scared of big groups of people. He has trauma and that's completely okay with us. We're fine with that. We help him a lot with that. We make sure he feels safe. We make sure he's okay. Some people cannot deal with the trauma of a dog because it can be a lot of work and that's okay. It's okay to shop instead of adopt because adopting, you know, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. They're most likely gonna be mixed breeds. You don't know what they've gone through. Um, anyway, so all that leads to why I decided to shop for my bangle instead of adopt. Basically what I'm saying is that not all adoption from shelters are gonna be successful stories and it's gonna be way more traumatizing for your pet to adopt him and then take him back to the shelter because he didn't suit your lifestyle. So definitely make sure that you are ready to adopt if you're going to adopt. So now I just want to talk about my bangle and this is in no order necessary, like this is in no specific order on why I decided to get a bangle, but I'm just going to go ahead and start with my story. So my boyfriend's family, which I'm pretty much over there every single day and I wanted to be able to have a cat that I could bring over there, is severely allergic to cats. So I had to get a hypoallergenic cat. That was like priority. Otherwise, I would never be able to bring my cat over. So here's a list of hypoallergenic cats. There's Balinese, Sphinx, Devon Rex, Siberian, Cornish, Blue, Russian Blue, Javanese, Oriental Shorthair, and Bengals. So there are naked cats and then there's like kind of ugly cats. And I know that looks aren't everything when it comes to an animal, but I noticed that Bengals were the cutest ones. Of course, I was going to click on that when I was looking at hypoallergenic cats. I had no idea what I was gonna get myself into when I clicked on links about bangles, and then I kinda just ended up falling in love with the idea of having a bangle. 
So one of the first things I realized in my research is that I was not going to be able to adopt from the shelter because they can be, Bengals are considered a rare cat breed. They have to be purebred. They pretty much have to be breeded from a breeder. The likelihood of finding a purebred Bengal kitten in a shelter is like one in a million. Now two points here. Of course I had to have a purebred because hyperallergenic and I didn't want to have any trauma. I wanted to be able to be good with little kids. I wanted him to basically be a lifelong companion. So I realized that going to a breeder was pretty much my only option. Now if a kitten would have ar arised on any of the adoption centers, I definitely would have gone, but literally I never saw one come up. So I decided that if I was gonna get a bangle, I was gonna do a bunch of research because obviously they're a very special breed of cat because I did not want to get myself into something that I wasn't ready for. I wanted to know everything about a bangle, the goods, the bads, everything. So my experience from cats and dogs was that I my whole life, I've wanted a mix of both. I knew I didn't want a cat that was super lazy and just wanted to sit around all day, but also dogs can be a lot of work and I wanted him to be inside. So like a mix of like a dog and a cat would be like ideal for me. Little did I know that that is like the description of a Bengal cat. So my research began and for the past like 45 months, I've literally been researching probably like once to four times a week all about bagels because they're so cute and I just wanted to learn all about them. So what I learned is that they're like descendants of leopards. They're like the domesticated version of a leopard. So that's why yeah. I'm going to pick him up. So that's why Ace literally looks like a leopard because he basically is one. Bengals love attention. They love to play. They're basically like puppies in that sense. Most cats sleep 20 hours a day, but Bengals sleep 12 to 14. So they sleep a lot less because they love to play. But on the contrary, they also love to cuddle. They love humans. They love attention. Look at him. Like he literally cuddles up on my lap all the time and just falls asleep. It's the cutest thing ever. And sometimes he'll sleep right next to my head and I literally cry. It's so cute. Also from my research, I realized I wanted a male and not a female because males are more calm. They like to cuddle. They're not as crazy while females can kind of get out of control sometimes. And from my personal experience, I've left Ace alone for maybe a total of like four or five hours the whole time that I've had him. And that was just like to run an errand or go to the gym or something because I can't, I literally can't leave him. Like, I think I'm the one getting separation anxiety, not him. Usually your pet gets it. I think it's me getting it. So I decided that a bangle would kind of be perfect for me because they love attention and they can't really be left alone for very long. And I am home all the time. I can do my work from home. So why not get a bangle? Another thing I learned about bangles is that Ace is going to be a big muscle machine. They can be up to 22 pounds, the males can, but on average they're like 15 pounds. So he'll probably be around that size. Also, I learned that their diet is very specific. They have to have high protein and no grain. They're basically like wild cats, so you can't just feed them any cat food or it could hurt their stomach. So I have a list of like cat foods that I can feed it. And from the person I got them from, they told me what cat food they use. So I use a mix of their cat food and then this other cat food that he literally loves. He devours while he's eating. I love when he eats. So this is like the dopest thing about Bengals is they actually love to go on walks. So over here, I have a harness and a leash and oh my gosh, is it not the cutest thing that people walk their cats? Most cats probably would hate that, but Bengals love to go on walks. They're basically like dogs in that sense. Two other really quick facts is that Bengals love water, which if you look right here, I got him a little like a waterfall to drink out of because they just love water and apparently that helps them stay hydrated better. I haven't really tested it out with him. I'm still letting him settle in before I throw him in some crazy experiences, but apparently they'll like take baths with you and love to play in water. I don't know, we'll see if Ace likes it. So apparently they love dogs, or at least they get along really well with dogs. I haven't introduced him to Scout because Scout is huge and he will just attack him because Scout loves every animal and will just play with him. But I don't think he's ready for that, so we're gonna wait quite a while for that one. So basically what started out was me just looking for hypoallergenic cats and then literally falling in love with having a bang. But from there I started looking at websites and I realized that bangles are so expensive. I've never 
never seen a cat so expensive before. I didn't know cats could be expensive. Some breeders were selling them up to like five grand. And I was like, um, no, that's not happening. Plus I feel like a breeder who is charging that much for a cat is obviously just doing it for the money and they probably don't actually care about their cats. On Sunday, I decided to spend like two hours and I was like, I'm finding one because I really, really want one. And I actually found three different people who live like pretty close to me and I was messaging them, getting their prices, having them send me cats, send me pics, oh my gosh, that was so cute. Having them send me pictures of the kittens and telling me all about the personalities and stuff. And then I found Ace and he was the cutest little guy and they lived really close so I met up with them and I met them on Monday and they brought me Ace, they brought me his shot records, his proof of like being a purebred, basically everything that I needed to have him and they were like the nicest people ever, they also raised Pomeranians, they showed me pictures of like all their pets, basically just like typical Missouri like country people, they were so awesome and I still text them like all the time because they want updates and we still talk and she said that he was like his favorite so it was hard for him them to let him go which is like really good news to me so anyway that's basically the story of how i decided to get a bangle and that i really did do my research why i decided to adopt and why i decided to shop instead of adopt and yeah Basically, now me and Ace are best friends. I don't leave his side. He leaves mine all the time though, like he just did. I'll be holding him and he's like, no, I wanna go sleep or no, I'm gonna go play. And I just bought him a bunch of new toys. I got him like a laser and this cute little thing. He basically just like typical Missouri like country people. They were so awesome and I still text them like, all the time because they want updates and we still talk and she said that he was like his favorite so it was hard for him them to let him go which is like really good news to me but anyway that's basically the story of how i decided to get a bangle and that i really did do my research why i decided to adopt and why i decided to shop instead of adopt and yeah basically now me and ace are best friends I don't leave his side. He leaves mine all the time though, like he just did. I'll be holding him and he's like, no, I want to go sleep or no, I'm going to go play. And I just bought him a bunch of new toys. I got him like a laser and this cute little thing. He loves this guy. He does not stop getting attention ever. And if you're wondering, I will be taking him to the vet soon just for just a little quick checkup. Make sure everything's good to go with him and I'm going to regularly go to the vet. I will be getting him neutered when the time comes and I will not be getting him declawed because I did a bunch of research and I had no idea but that is so bad for cats. Like I feel bad that I ever thought about declawing him now. So as far as if you guys have any questions or the comment section down below, let's have just like a nice fun open ended conversation. If you have more questions, you're also welcome to DM me at Sid McGee on Instagram. Hey, okay, we have to say goodbye to the camera. So I'm gonna keep making a bunch of videos with Ace. He really just wants to go back in here, so. Oh, let me show you guys one more thing. He loves this too, sometimes. So he can just sit in it and I can close him in and he's in a nice little hiding spot. He loves hiding spots. So yeah, there's the story of me and Ace, how we are now pals for life. If you guys enjoyed this video and it was very informative, let me know if you guys want more videos with Ace, if you have any questions, blah, blah, blah. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hey.